I mean, first off, right from the outset, the, the Monsanto Protection Act is is quite a misnomer. But despite uh, despite all rumors to the contrary, our, our Congress and President have not capitulated to the interests of uh, biotech companies. What what it is? Uh, it was a rider that was included in a uh, <clears throat> in an appropriations bill, something that funds the government through September. And it, what it basically says is, if USDA approves a genetically modified seed or any type of seed under the Plant Protection Act, which requires certain scientific rigors to be followed, if USDA make, uh, approves a seed, uh, a court cannot later step in and order that a farmer destroy the seed or a company bar a company from selling the seed. Uh, it, for any challenge brought under the Plant Protection Act. And what it is, the, that provision, which uh, is known as the Farmer Assurance Provision, is, uh, is inspired by history. Uh, with, with Roundup Ready alfalfa, the courts held up uh, planting of, of Roundup Ready alfalfa for four years before... Uh, E even though it had been approved by USDA and with with uh, Roundup Ready sugar beets, uh, the sugar beet seed had been approved for years and then uh, a court order uh, came down from a, a trial court that declared that all farmers had to destroy the sugar beets that they already had planted and uh, an appeals court fortunately stepped in at the last minute and allowed them to harvest their, harvest their crops. So the farmer assurance provision does benefit Monsanto, Pioneer, other biotech companies in one way because they have a, a confident customer base if they, if they introduce a new seed. But who's really protected by this is a farmer that uh, makes an investment in seed based on uh, the, the federal government's assurance that it, it's passed all the regulatory requirements.